Hey, hey, everyone. I am on an unboxing go get them. Do, 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 do. Trying to get some of these done before I go back to work as far as unboxing. And I am super psyched. It has been a long time that this has been sitting here. And I need to do it justice. This is um, Jazz, Jazz Higging Diamond Art Kit. And this is an artist out of Australia. Look at this. Alice in Absalon. It's a 35 by 70 centimeter. I'm covering up my address. This is my way of blurring things out. Um, but I'm going to open this and we're going to explore it because she decided, you know what? I want my art out there, but I want to be in control of doing it. And so she... She's making it happen, and I love this one. There's a couple other ones that I want to get. Now, there's going to be people in the comments that say, the shipping's expensive. I know. It's because it's from Australia. So this is me wanting to explore a new diamond company, and I was willing to pay the shipping because I, I wanted to. I wanted to see what she had. Look at this kit. This kit is so cute. It has, I'm gonna keep this, it's so cute. It has a little thank you of what you ordered. And then inside, let's see what's inside. <gasps> do, 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 do. And I follow her on Instagram. So you get a standard kit with tweezers, single placer, a green boat. What I love about these green boats and gray boats is I use them from another company out of Australia. And this is what I use for trash now because it's very stable and sometimes I can put my wax in there um, or if I spill a drill, I'll put it in here and then I can use it when I get done. So I love these, that's what I use my green boats. And then when it gets full, because I have wax goobers, instead of trying to clean it out, I just throw the tray away and I have another tray. So yes, Jazz Higgins Art art and Illustration. This is her Facebook and her Instagram. So cute. She does so many different things. This is about the artist. Look at that. Look at how cute those are. I need to get that one. Oh my goodness. I've been painting full time since 2007. I also like... Um, yeah. It, it, <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to get her Disney character. So I have Alice now. Um, and we will we will see. She has coloring books, people. Jigsaw puzzles, diamond kits. So cute. She gives you a how to diamond paint. Really precious. Look how cute that one is. Yes. And then what else does she give us? Okay, so here's an inventory sheet. That's pretty cool. These look like she hand touches all of these. And then here's this, which you can use for trash or wax, whatever you would like. I'm actually using some of these to put some fun crystals or ABs in and do them as giveaways. Um, so I love that. Thank you so much, Ms. Higgins. I can't wait to go buy more from you. Um, this was one of the ones I asked my subscribers if they wanted me to work on. Um, and it was second place. So I will be posting this again in the upcoming subscriber poll on which one to do next after vacation. And I look forward to hearing from you which one you pick. But now that you've seen the unboxing... Um, yeah, so it is poured glue. I purchased the 35 by 70 centimeter. I love that she has her name on here. Um, let's look at the colors real quick. Okay, there's more than that. <laughs> so these are so pretty and they show you what number it is. They also show you what it goes to. So if your drills get separated, they show you the DMC color and how many are in here. And they're in baggies. So if you are new to diamond painting or you're out of storage and you want to work on this, you can do it right out of diamond painting. I actually bought from Dollar Tree. I need to get some more. Something like this. And then I put, if I'm 
I don't have any storage available because I have too many kitted up. Then I put them in here in DMC order right now. This is where I have all my candy from people I've bought from who send candy. Um, I also have this from Michael's. Right now it's like my junk. I don't have anywhere to put it. Um, but you can buy one of these and also do the same thing. I've done that before. So there's lots of ways that you can organize out of baggies. Okay. So you've got your key over here on the upper left. And quick glance, there's also a key on the bottom right. Somehow it got smushed, but that's okay. It's just the outside of the canvas. All right. Look, you can see the butterfly here and the flowers. This is going to be so much fun. The sticky's great. This will flatten out. It's, it didn't affect the glue or anything. The symbols are very clear. You can tell, see the dark symbols, except for this one, um, are white. Very clear to see. I love this mushroom. I can't wait to bling it out. I'm going to do some ABs and crystals in here as well. It's very simple art, but yet complex. I like the economy of that. So gorgeous. So gorgeous. And I was trying to find my tape measure, but I think it ran away. Because I like to show you if it's legit 35 by 70. So let me, let me see if I can find it real quick while you're just kind of like, what, you're wasting our time. What are you doing, Jen? I got places to go and people to see and diamond paintings to do. Oh dear. Okay, so we will use this makeshift magnet ruler. How's that sound? Okay, so this is supposed to be 35, so we're going to put this here. Yep, exactly 35 across. Some companies uh, measure based on the actual canvas versus the drill area. So we're going to just see. So this goes to 45 right here on that G. Move this. And then 24 and a half plus 45, that would be 69 and a half. Almost, almost 70. It's like almost right there on the line. And they do ask that you give them up to a centimeter because of ratio. If you think about a painting, it's done, or a portrait, it's done at a certain ratio. And if you try to fit it exactly 35 by 75 and the ratio is slightly off, you're gonna get distortion. So that's why companies say, give us up to a centimeter off because we would rather you have a very beautiful painting versus something that's distorted. So thank you so much, Jazz Higgins. I'm so excited. The drills look great. I did get round. I'm kind of in a round um, kick right now, but I do have some squares coming. Um, so yeah, tell me what you think. Go check her out again, please. I know it's a little pricey, but we all, uh, decide where we want to spend our money and who we want to spend it on. And I wanted to support her and find out what her artwork was about and, and how it looks. So thank you, Jazz, so much for sharing your heart in your paintings. So until next time, be blessed. Take care. Love you all. Bye-bye.